A couple of years ago, I ran a program called TLC, which stands for Thoughtful Life Calendar or whatever the members wanted TLC to mean. And it was probably the most impactful group program that I've run in years, maybe ever. Uh, that's what I heard from the members. They still fondly remember back to the time that TLC was running and how much they were able to accomplish and really connect deeply with uh, the rhythms of their business and, and improve it. Well, um, I'm bringing that back. It's under a different name now, but it essentially is the spirit and the most useful structures from TLC. And now it's called the Joyful Productivity Club. I needed the time uh, after the TLC program to reconfigure some things, to prepare, to relaunch it uh, at the right time. And now is the time. So I'm excited to share it with you. And I'm going to share my screen with you and to kind of show you what the, uh, the features are. But before I do that, just a moment to say why it's so important for every solopreneur, uh, every authentic business owner to be consistently working on your joyful productivity skills. Now, why, why is that important? Well, it's because all of us, first of all, all of us come to business with our different skill sets, for sure. Some of us had advantages in communication. Some of us had advantages in design. Some of us had advantages in sort of the life experiences we've led that create powerful uh, you know, stories and methodologies and teachings, right? All of us had different advantages. But one thing that all of us can grow in, and I find that a lot of particularly the people drawn to me, more heart-based soulpreneurs, people who are more visionary, more connected to the spiritual world. Uh, my people tend to be weaker when it comes to the productivity side of things. And I am I'm a kind of a weird <laughs> person because even though I do connect a lot with the spiritual and with the authentic expression and sort of like the, the yearning for a deeper life and a more soulful expression, at the same time, I've been a productivity nerd for all my life. Ever since I was in you know elementary school, I started getting curious about and interested in reading things on time management. It's really weird, but all my life, I've been, I've been really passionate about this field. And then I've seen that as I have applied joyful productivity skills to my business, to my life, everything up levels, everything becomes more effective, more efficient, and of course, more joyful. So whatever advantages or disadvantages you have as you come into business, you can still up level the most foundational skill that most solopreneurs are pretty bad at which is the joyful productivity suite of skills. Everything from managing your time to managing your information and knowledge base to managing your energy to how do you um, carve out your priorities basically and to make sure that you are you know, free of distraction and actually do a lot of focus work. Because I've noticed basically in my, in my courses as I teach students that you are brilliant. I say this, I say this, I don't say this often enough. You are brilliant. You just need a timer. Because I've seen it again and again in my courses. When I give my students uh, a focused piece of work, an exercise, and then I actually have them do it, the results are often better than what I would have done when I try it in the same time that my students are trying it. The, I like the results from my students better than my own. So I know that you're brilliant. And I know that you have so much experience and, and a wide um, expertise to share and, and a, a deep heart to share. If only you could channel all that in a, in a more focused and structured way, you would be, you would be a superhero. You are a superhero waiting to be unveiled. So that's the point of this program. This program isn't to teach you more marketing things to like fill your brain with more things to do. It's to take what you already know to do to prioritize it, and then to ensure that you have focused time to work on it and a community of people that are cheering you on as you up-level your productivity skills. I'm really excited to have you experience this. I think that this given past experience and what 
what I've designed it, how I've, how I've designed it improved upon the previous design coming up. I really believe that this could be one of the most, if not the most impactful root program that you've been part of. And I've kept price, I think, quite reasonable given the kind of impact and support that you're going to experience in this. So without further ado, let me go ahead and share with you what the program includes. All right, so if you happen to be looking at the page itself where this video might be hosted on, on that page too, you could just look below, uh, below this video for all the information. Um, but if you're seeing this on social media uh, and you're seeing it shortly after I recorded it, this page is not yet available, but uh, it will be soon. Anyway, Joyful Productivity Club, and I'm still I'm still working on the design, so the images and things are probably going to be different. And it is for solopreneurs and freelancers, the word I call solopreneurs, people who are building a business that is, well, filled with soul, that is an, an expression of their genuine um, calling, or at least aiming to, 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 to create that um, aiming to create that um, uh, authenticity in their business. And the problem, of course, is with something, you know, something that I, I'm going to stop my screen share for a moment. Something that I often say to my clients is, the closer your work is aligned with your deep purpose, the more you tend to procrastinate because there is higher risk, higher feeling of risk for, well, I, I better get this right. Uh, what if I fail? What if it doesn't? What if it doesn't express the beautiful vision that I have, that I have for this work, et cetera, et cetera. And of course, if you are afraid or procrastinate, you'll never take the action that's required to make the iterations to make this more and more closer to your vision. So that's why solopreneurs are particularly my uh, that the group of people that I'm most passionate to serve. Okay, so let's go back to this. Uh, you you don't have to read. You can pause the recording if you want to read it right now. But essentially, I notice a lot of solopreneurs like you and me are quite isolated. Well, solopreneur comes from solopreneur. So we're, we tend to be quite isolated and overwhelmed. And we lack a lot of follow through on doing the things that we need, that we need done, that we, we, we know need to get done. And so without... A kind, a, a consistent, and kind, supportive community. Um, it's it's tough to actually create your authentic business. So uh, this is why this joyful productivity club was created. So imagine feeling connected, resourced, and uh, at home in a community of of solopreneurs, right? And imagine being able to effectively prioritize your tasks and projects every day. And I'll show you why this program helps you to do that. Imagine mastering the art of context switching. What does that mean? Context switching is the ability to move from uh, one project or task into another project or task smoothly, you know, without um, saying, oh my gosh, I had a meeting today and my whole, the rest of my day is shot. Because I'm a creator and I'm not a, you know, I'm not someone who goes from meetings to meetings and one meeting and I'm shot. Maybe I'm an introvert. Maybe I'm highly sensitive. Yes, that could all be true. And still, the skill of context switching is something you can actually improve. And so the ability to resource yourself, okay, after a meeting or after doing some bookkeeping and then doing something creative, for example, like, or doing something creative and doing something administrative the switching between projects and tasks within a, within a given day, you can actually become pro at this and therefore save yourself a lot of angst, a lot of time, and be able to get a lot more done with more heart. So that's context switching. And then staying accountable because if you're isolated by yourself and you tell yourself you're going to do something and you don't do it, well, it's easy to let yourself slide. And it's not like we're going to you know play, blame you or punish you, but at least you'll know that people are watching out for your goals and you, you know you're not the only one who cares about your goals okay so we we care as well so this is that that's the that's the core vision of the program i have some wonderful uh previous participants like i said the, the people who took part in the previous version left some wonderful testimonials here these are all real quotes from from real people who took part in this um Tomar, in fact, I, for, for sure I know um, she's. she already told me she's going to be taking part 
again in this, so it's great. All right, so anyway, you can pa pause and read if you if you want to, but basically they are saying that this kind of experience is was even better than they imagined, and I believe that you will feel that too if you if this resonates with you. All right, so here is what we're going to be doing in the program. We have a daily Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, prioritizing session. I will be leading these sessions in the first um, you know, couple of months, and then I'm going to be getting facilitators to to be leading them. Uh, but but I'm going to be first leading them myself um, and really honing the, the strategy and how it's done. And then once once the once the methodology and the pacing is is excellent. Uh, I then may hand it off to other facilitators. But anyway, so um, it's just 15 minutes. So I I believe you can carve out 15 minutes to prioritize your day with us. The power of the group energy is going to be uh, more, I think, more interesting for, for this kind of work than just doing it uh, isolated on your own. So 15 minutes, you know, once a day. And uh, during that time, you also get to, speak your primary goal and not just to write it down what your what your goal what your top goals are priorities but you also get to speak it in a small breakout group and as our group grows there will be more of these daily sessions at different times of the day for those of you who have a different schedule or live in a different play, part in the world and you can't attend the the, the, the particular one that that uh, that we we're going to begin with there will be different time zones so that's one of the benefits of, of um, the, the group growing is uh, we'll just have more resources to, to do more of these. Okay. And then there's also going to be a private forum. I'm pretty excited about this. We're not going to be using Facebook. We're not going to be using a Facebook group. Okay. We're also, uh, we're going to be using a new platform, not new. It's been a couple of years now. And it's a platform that I have been uh, enjoying as a user uh, of, and it's 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 um it's it's not actually Simplero. I have some of my course, most of my courses are on Simplero, but this is a new platform called School that I've been really having fun using, and I've I've researched different platforms, and this one is really like the the more the most engaging and fun to use without being cluttered. Um, anyway, we're gonna be we're having a private forum in there for people to check in on daily intentions as well and other um, insights sharing and tool sharing in the forum. It's going to be great. I look forward to it. Uh, so daily prioritization, that's a, that's a big part of our, our program. And again, um, we're going to have more of these sessions as, as we grow so that, so that you can probably take part in it. The second part of our program that I'm really excited by and has, has constantly gotten great feedback, um, including from the previous version of the program, is having a dedicated uh, small supportive accountability group. And it says concierge assigned, meaning that our team, um, my, uh, my, uh, I, have one, I have one team member right now besides myself, and thank you, Heather Tobin, is going to be doing the concierge assigning. So you're going to be filling out a form about your preferences for the group, for, for what kind of group you would be, like to be part of. And then Heather or whoever else part of the team will thoughtfully put you together with two other people uh, who also filled out the form and selected similar preferences as you. And so uh, you get to be part of that trio for, uh, for as long as you want. But every three months, we will allow you to revisit. Uh, we will ask your trio whether you want to stay together or try you know, connecting with other people. And so you're not going to be tied to that the same trio forever. But if a trio is working out beautifully, then of course it's more efficient to stay. Um, so the trio either works as um, uh, through direct messaging and email. That's one format, or the other format you could choose is to meet with your trio once a week, and you can meet for either thirty minutes. That's pretty quick. Thirty minutes to to really reflect on what you're learning about your work from your priorities, um, and to to name your priorities for the week. And to, to be clear whether you have carved out time and focus for it and how will you deal with distractions and then maybe even planning co-working sessions with, with each other if you do well, if it's totally optional, obviously. Um, so this format uh, we've seen in various group iterations is really effective for helping you to stay focused on your top priorities. 
And so I, that's why I believe you're going to get a lot more done with a program like this. And it'll be well worth, well worth the, um, your, the investment of your energy, money, and time. And so uh, you can meet for either 30 minutes or you can meet for longer. That's why we have you fill out the form. Some people will prefer to meet for longer with your with their team every week to troubleshoot issues, to share resources, all that stuff. That's a longer meeting team. Or you can have a short meeting team that's really just focused on these couple of questions. So this is, uh, and you, you don't have, if you already have accountability buddies or whatever, you don't want an additional one, you don't have to. It's totally optional, but that's available to you. All right, monthly productivity learning. I'm going to be the one leading it um, in the first at least you know three to six months. And essentially, we get together once a month and I help you to focus on up-leveling your productivity skills in one particular area. So every month we'll focus on one area. So whether it's either, either um, optimizing, improving your ability to, to prioritize or the calendar or to clear your email inbox, I do all of these things. Or to manage all the information that's coming at you and how you organize your Google Drive or whatever. So, and, you know, how to manage your energy and, and to have a good start of the day, start of work rituals, um, your work session rituals, all that stuff that allows you to, to be just the most productive and focused and joyfully so that you've ever been in your life. That's the point of these monthly learnings. You're just always improving on one aspect of the whole suite of productivity skills. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm always improving my own productivity skills one month at a time. We focus for one month at a time on one particular thing. And then uh, during that monthly session, you also get to revisit your, 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 your bigger picture priorities and uh, use a visual tracker if you want to use it. Um, people will have different ways of doing visual tracking and we'll share that with each other in the, in, in the forum. But it's, it's very helpful to, again, monthly, bigger picture, and then skill up leveling of the, that's such a foundational area of business. So that's, that's, that's another important feature. And another really important feature are the virtual work retreats. Okay, so what are these? These, I'm going to be hosting them myself eight times a month for now. And then as the group grows, we will have additional people hosting these. These are times, either it's two-hour sessions or eight-hour sessions. Don't worry. There are tons of breaks. Even during the two hours, we take several breaks. And during the eight hours, we, we, we take many breaks. And there are several long breaks during the eight hours. Anyway, so these virtual work retreats are where you schedule to show up either for two hours or eight hours. And then you get the work done while the rest of us are also getting our priorities done. So we all, it sounds strange. You've never tried it. I highly recommend it. Everybody that I, that I uh, turned on to these things that they never, they, they didn't think it was useful. They didn't, it didn't sound like they would love it. They came and tried it and it's life-changing for them. So um, someone even said, and uh, she said, I could quote her. She said, um, and this is someone who's very skilled with teaching embodiment, uh, Zusa Engler, um, and very, very uh, you know, wise and has done a lot of work, uh, a lot of projects over, over years that are successful projects. She said, these virtual work retreats are the cure for ADHD. <laughs> the cure for ADHD. Now, I don't claim to, to, to have it done, but really a lot of people say that. They, they come to work, they're, they're so strangely empowered to focus in this kind of a group setting to focus on their on their work. So that's why I do so many eight times a month because I'm also getting the work done and you're getting the work done as well. And then finally, excited for this member only forum that we're gonna be doing on a very fun platform that uh, hopefully not too much fun, but it is definitely more fun than other platforms I've used and less distracting than, than Facebook because it's not gonna be on Facebook. So uh, you're gonna get to really share resources, lessons, share your heart, um, and see others share their hearts and their resources uh, in a forum like this that uh, just for solopreneurs. So I look forward to it. Well, um, that those are the features of the program. We follow the Joyful Productivity Framework, which is actually even more than what's written here. But I wanted to write out parts of the framework um, and all the parts that I've written here are are being applied to the Joyful Productivity Club. So you're going to get all of these benefits and I'm just kind of naming the um, 
the, the framework again here, just to be clear what it's about. So I'm just gonna scroll a little bit here, okay? You can pause if you want to read this or if you're seeing this on the page itself, you can read it below. Um, okay, so with that, that's it. So um, let me talk to you. Well, I'll tell you this. You can see the price. Uh, I'm not gonna name the price right now because it will be going up over time. So whatever the price is right now is going to be the lowest price that we have. So be sure to look at look at the, the links below and any other information that I've given you uh, above or below this video, you can, you can find it. So with that, I look forward to seeing if this resonates with you. If you have any questions, of course, um, add a comment below or contact me. However, if you're on my website, you, there should be a contact page. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing if this, if this sounds like it'll be useful to you. And if you have any questions about it, uh, or if you, even if you have any suggestions, I'm always open to feedback, by the way, on how I can improve programs like this. So I look forward to hearing via feedback as well. So thank you so much for watching this. And, uh, I look forward to seeing your comments and perhaps to have you join us in the joyful productivity club. Thanks.